Welcome Legion. Today I want to talk to you guys about injury prevention and how you can add in injury prevention strategies to your training program. Injuries are obviously going to be one of those really unfortunate things that are a part of sport. But if we can do as much as possible to prevent those injuries and reduce our risk, it means we can play our sport, the thing that we love, more often than not. The first thing we like to do is look at the demands of the sport. So what are the movements that are required in the sport? And what are the muscles used predominantly in the sport? Because this can give us a guide in regards to potentially what is going to get overloaded, the things that we need to make strong and resilient, and the things that we might need to do to help recover more and make sure that we're not putting too much emphasis and load through these muscles, tissues, and movements. So as an example, when we think about a running sport, which is a lot of sports to be honest, there is a, a form of running that's at different intensities, which is fair enough, and different volumes, but the mechanics of running, they don't really change. They obviously change between person to person, and there is a more ideal running mechanic, which potentially is one of those things that we can look at in regards to injury prevention, is your mechanics, how well you move, but if we're thinking about running, we look at the movements. So we know we're gonna to have to do a lot of hip flexion. We're gonna to have to do a lot of hip extension, a lot of um, foot extension as well. So the muscles that are gonna be involved with a lot of this stuff is the hip flexors, the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves, and even the lower back to stabilize the body in the body position. So these are the areas that are gonna get worked and potentially overloaded. So we need to manage our load. This being, make sure we don't do too much. Make sure we stay in our tolerance. So we need to do enough to get a good training stimulus, but not too much that we um, blow up. We need to make sure that these um, muscles are resilient and tough. So maybe we need to do some preventative work to make sure that they can actually tolerate more load if we go to give it um, a little bit more work. Then we can look at the movement itself. Are you moving well? Is your technique correct? If we need to make an adjustment, we can make an adjustment. Another thing we look at is what are the common injuries of that sport? Now, obviously we can have a multitude of injuries depending on the sport and it can change and we can get unlucky and we can get the odd weird one here and there and that's fair enough. But most sports have a common theme in regards to the areas that get injured. So for example, in soccer, hamstrings is actually the highest rate of injury. Next, I think is groins. And a lot of this can be due to because you do a lot of running and sprinting and accelerating and kicking is done, used via the adductors quite a fair bit, the groin muscles. And there's a lot of change of direction, which also uses the groin muscles. So this is, these areas are likely getting injured because they're getting used lots. Now, if you're not training to tolerate the loads that you're gonna to have to go through for a game, and you're not doing some strengthening work to make those tissues more resilient, your chances of getting injured are gonna be a lot higher. It's also to Im important to realize the balance between life, work, and sport. So stress has a really big impact on injury prevention. If you're in a really, really stressful state, it's actually not the best thing to go and train really hard. I'm not, a, I'm, I'm, I'm not against you going to training and going through, but just maybe just pull back a little bit. Just monitor how you're doing. In my experience, I've just found almost the number one predictor of an injury, which is we still haven't quite worked out yet as a, uh, as a field. But for me, as an anecdotal piece of evidence is, is stress. If someone's been really stressed or something is something really important is going on in their life, they're almost certain to get some form of injury within the next week or so. Now, it doesn't mean that you should do nothing. It just means you should modify and just pay attention. It's okay to potentially maybe not miss the session, but just reduce the amount of load and intensity within the session. And this can actually go a long way to injury prevention. We also believe that it's important to define your weaknesses. So what are your weaker areas? So we talked about you know, looking at your movements and the muscles used. 
now test those test those areas test those movements are you strong in a running movement is running a good like are you good at running and if you're not maybe do we need to work on it do we need to work on your mechanics are your hamstrings strong enough to do high speed sprinting if they're not let's work on it next is to develop a holistic plan so work out your life schedule work out when you're going to play sport Add in your strength and conditioning program, so working on specific areas that your sport requires, and adding your recovery. Put it as one big plan, and this is the best way to reduce your chances of getting injured. Hopefully that helped, guys. Cheers.